Thursday, the Hickory Daily Record Online Unlimited was in Hudson, North Carolina and Caldwell County, where Caldwell County Animal Control raided William Thomas Allen's property. Allen is suspected of running a puppy mill. Allen runs Mason Creek Kennel, which is located at 4869 Freemason Road. Officers seized over 260 dogs from the property. Out behind the house, you can see multitudes of hutches on Allen's property. When North Carolina State Director of the Humane Society of the United States, Kim Album, took us inside the house, the smell was overwhelming. The smell of urine as well as feces lingered throughout the house. Album described the scene at Allen's kennel. This is, it's, it's typical of a puppy mill. You know, we're finding animals in here that are in desperate need of medical care. Um, they're being bred for profit. They're being bred until they can be bred no more. Um, their puppies are sold, but the parents stay on to suffer in this environment for years. The owner, William Allen, disagrees and said his animals weren't treated cruelly. Do you feel that the situation is, is cruel to your animals? No. Uh, why not? I mean, I was working on it. Most of them did have shade on their hands, and we were working very diligently at getting them all under the roof, but they've been like that for a year, and they've been for 30 years, or two or three years, and they've never said nothing about that, and they've been here a hundred times. Caldwell County Animal Control Director Greg Green said Allen's attempts to maintain the kennel were minimal at best. We asked him to do, you know, fix problems. He attempted to do so. Uh, but again, you know, the attempts were minimal at best. Album says one problem is that there are no regulations regarding dog breeders that sell to the general public. There are no regulations for dog breeders in North Carolina that sell to the general public. So in essence, what has happened is we've become a state of choice for people that want to run a puppy mill. However, there are regulations if you sell to pet stores or research labs. If people sold to pet stores or research labs, they would fall under the Department of Agriculture. However, in an environment like this, they're selling to the general public over the internet. So what's happening is there's no minimum standards for these animals. So the animal control has to wait until it gets to a point where it's so bad that they have to come out and seize everything because it's fallen below the cruelty statute. The dogs that were rescued are being housed at a facility on the Caldwell County Fairgrounds. It will now be up to the district attorney's office to decide what charges are brought against Allen. For the Hickory Daily Record Online Unlimited, I'm Jeremy Detter.